Hello everyone, just a little fun project today, a little mini mixed media canvas using new steps from our journey, some acrylic paints, new colors, a black and white marker and a few distress inks to watercolor with. Um, I am starting off with um, gluing down some tissue paper with matte gel medium. Uh, not overthinking it, just going around the canvas and just overlapping. Don't thinking too much about how it's going to look because you can't see much of it in the end anyway. Stamping my own tissue paper by using this paper and stamping it with the doily stamps, but I stamp it with every stamp that I like to create my own tissue paper. Um, using gel matte medium matte gel medium to <laughs> put that down um i'm using a credit card to smooth it out but didn't need that in the end because i like texture anyway but didn't know how it was going to look uh, in the end of the project so i'm gluing it down and then putting some heavy gesso on my canvas just random just create texture and that's what's going to happen during this whole project just layer over layer over layer <laughs> as you can see and um, I am using a baby wipe to uh, go through a stencil a little star stencil to lift some of the gesso off of the um, the canvas um, and I'm just creating several layers of well texture that's what I'm doing you can see the stars um, where the gesso has come off so and now I'm using the same gesso to create another layer by using another star stencil and just putting the gesso through it you can use modeling paste of course you can but this this dries quicker <laughs> using uh, some bright colors and Naples yellow green to create a pastel color instead of just a light blue of light yellow by using white and um, then I'm doing the same thing, baby wipe through a stencil to create another layer of texture. I'm going, going quick, I know. <laughs> and then I took another little piece of tissue paper and created another layer by using pieces of that paper. Just gluing it down with my fingers with a gel medium. And done. A bit more interest again and <laughs> um, then I use the paint again using a little a dot stencil and then using my fingers to put some paint down on the canvas to make it a little bit brighter and a little bit gesso through another stencil again so that's uh, don't overthink it just put it put it down and you can always uh, leave it and go back to it a few months later if you didn't like it at this point. Um, stamping several times the butterfly and deciding later on which one I use and the rest I will keep uh, for another project. Stamping the little Norman Fabriano watercolor paper. Uh, I usually use watercolor paper for this kinds of project because I don't know if I'm going to paint it in the end. So uh, and painting with watercolor, distressing is just quick and easy and has bright colors. So that's why I do that. Um, fussy cut everything I want to use or thought of using. I'm not going to use those poppy seeds in the end, but maybe on another project. So I will not throw them away. Um, and now I'm assembling everything and I use the little butterfly wings on the back of this little gnome and a poppy in his hand and you see that it looks quite nice if you just leave it white but uh, didn't do that of course not using uh, another uh, stamp from a new sheet um, and it's a flock of I think a flock of butterflies it goes with the fairies um, and I'm just fussy cut them as well. Then I use a neo color to create a little bit of more color around the gnome. I did. I thought it needed that. And using a water brush to spread out the neo colors works quite well. And then I decided to watercolor it anyway. So I'm using several colors of distress ink to color in the images. 
as you can see. I'm just trying to use, uh, do a little bit of shading and you can see that I go in with a, um, a tissue to lift off some of the color that makes it lighter. So that's an easy and quick way to create dark and light shades of the color on your little project. You can see go in with tissue and then go in with the uh, distress ink again and you can see that well, I lift off color to create a lighter part of that uh, well a lighter shade of the color. Now done that then I thought it was too dull so um, I just needed a little bit of sparkle and I'm, I'm not that sparkly I don't have many sparkly things um, but uh, I had a Wink of Stella brush clear glitter pen I think that's how it's called so I decided to use that one I had it in my stash for a long time didn't ever use it so I thought I might use it this time and it looked quite nice in the end so I'm looking at my project right now and I think if you put light on it then it sparkles a lot and I really enjoy that going around of over every piece of the image but not on the canvas and still I didn't find it that interesting enough so a uh, next step would be uh, putting the little butterflies down create another layer on the canvas and the words that I stamped you are the sweetest using gel uh, matte gel medium to glue it down and give everything including the canvas a good layer of gel medium and let that dry just dry everything quite well I dried almost every layer that I put down on the, the little canvas now that's almost done and then I go in with uh, doodling uh, just um, use white and black marker just to to scribble something to do some circles around the butterflies um, just a little white edge and I went over the image with a black and the white to create highlights that's what I did and that makes it just a little bit more interesting and you will see a little picture in the end of the canvas so you can see how it looked but you can see I'm just randomly doodling not thinking it just doing it and uh, I hope you like this little project and I thank you all for watching and uh, I'll say until next time bye bye everyone bye bye <laughs>